The next morning, the beautiful weather was still with us. And having heard so much about Ian and Craig's adventures the day before, I decided to leave the comfort of the mothership and try fishing from one of the small boats. So the modus operandi this morning is the mothership is back over in the distance there. We've got one, two, three small boats with all the fishing party split up fishing this shelf, all within easy reach of each other and all within easy reach of the mothership should anything go wrong. It's a very, very safe environment. And bear in mind, it may not feel like it this morning, but we are in the Arctic Ocean. And so of course, safety knowing where everybody is and being able to do something about something, if it happens, is obviously of utmost importance. And it's good, it's a real, I'm not a dyed in the wool sea angler, but I feel very, very safe. You know, the advice I'm getting, I'm getting told exactly what to do, told exactly what the context and the scenario that we're working in is, and it is a reassuring feeling, especially when you're this far from home and a non-swimmer. <laughs> So we're in the same spot as Ian and Craig were the day before. As far as I can tell, the weather conditions are pretty much the same. Only difference is, where have all the fish gone? Well, there was one thing that was having an effect, which from my vantage point in the boat was difficult to perceive, but Ian's plotter gave him a vital piece of additional information. At the moment, the, the problem is at the moment, the tide's uh, slack now, so we've got very little drift. We're, we're moving about 0.1 of a knot which is practically standing still right as soon as the tide starts to pick up and we start to come across the plateaus then we'll start crossing over the fish grounds yeah and uh, we'll be able to put a perk in front of them then you know yeah, while, we're, exactly. while we're standing still we, we're not covering any ground at all we're just practically in the same spot waiting for a fish to come to us right Tusk. I think the perk's nearly as big as him, isn't it? I'll tell you something, it is, yeah. Whilst we didn't exactly blank, the appearance of a few tusk, the odd small codling and one haddock was not what either of us had hoped for. And despite trying different marks and the tide eventually picking up, our fortunes didn't. But hey, it's all part of the learning curve and that's the reason why we're out here. Guess what the time is? Lights well, fading. Dusk, we call it. And I tell you, I'm feeling really quite tired. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. One of the beauties of this trip is the ship's available 24 hours a day. So if you fancy a cast, you can have a cast as and when you like. It's terrific. What I've decided to do is have about an hour before I go to bed. And I'm gonna give the fish a disco. I'm gonna use the shrimp with the blue fade on the top lure. And on the bottom, just in line, I'm gonna use a perk with the green blinker. I'm gonna see if this works. As you can see, there's the blue, it's pulsing. Very, very strong, then very, very weak light. Underneath it, the green is blinking away, and I tell you, 
Ian says I stand a really good chance of perhaps even picking up a halibut with this. So here they go, down into the deep. Out of sight. Crumbs, you can see that green light. See it all the way down. I'm, hang on, 24 meters down and I can still see it blinking. <laughs> if the fish can't see it, they've got to be wearing sunglasses or something else. You can just feel quite a heavy fish just taking line off. He's just taking a couple of bounces at it, but it'd be easy just to disturb it. I'm not sure whether he's still there now. Ian's uh, giving me some good advice on the left hand side, saying, telling me to leave it. I'm not sure whether he keeps picking it up, having a go and then leaving it, or whether he's actually taking it, but I'll find out soon enough. What do you reckon, Ian? Give him it? Yeah. Cool. It feels quite heavy, actually. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good fish. He should be somewhere around now. Let's have a look. 20, 24 metres down. Cod? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's my biggest cod, I think, man. Hey, can you see the light banging away there? Yeah, aye, aye, will do. Oh, yeah. That is my best ever cod. Come here, fella. I'm chuffed to bits with that. Chuffed to bits. That is my biggest ever con. And that was on a perk with the green blinker. How about that? Nice fish. <laughs>